this video, I'm going to discuss about how to start doing pull-ups. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jason Kelly, creator of The Balanced Body. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Today's video is about doing pull-ups. So before I begin, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can receive future notifications based on more fitness and strength techniques. So first things first, if you can't do a pull-up, the most important thing is to hang from the bar. So when you're hanging from the bar, you want to keep your hips moving forward. If you arch your lower back while you're hanging from the bar, you will feel a huge difference in the force, meaning that if your hips are back in a hyperextended position, you're not going to feel so much force. But if you move those hips forward by contracting your abdominals, you'll feel your lats start to engage even more. So that's the first rule that you need to understand. Now secondly, what you're going to do is you're going to hang from that bar, but when you hang from the bar, you don't want those shoulders up near your ears. You want to keep pulling your shoulder blades down. And that's the second rule, because if the shoulders are going up, then you're losing that lat engagement and that stability as well. And now that you know the position of where your hips need to be and where your shoulders need to be, now what you will do is you will hang from the pull-up bar. Don't worry about doing the repetitions, because first you've got to develop that base of strength and force in order to pull yourself. And so first position is going to be from the top of the bar. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on to the top here into the, into the mid eccentric position. And if you have a step, it's easier. And then, you, or you can jump up and hold yourself and then you're gonna slowly, as slow as you can, lower yourself down to the hanging position. Hold that position for about five seconds, then release. And you're gonna do this about three to four times, three to five times if you can, no more than five. And then after about five times, you're just gonna go from the hanging position. You're gonna hang on uh, for about maybe 10 seconds and then relax. And then you'll rest, another, you'll rest about a minute or two and then hang on again and then relax. So you're gonna do this about three times to finish out the hanging position. If you're holding on for longer, then add some weight. You can put a weight belt on, you can put ankle weights on, you can hold a dumbbell between your feet, however you want to do it. All right, for now, for those who can do partial reps, it's a little different. You're going to actually do half and half of your pull-up. So you're going to do the top half first. You're going to do eccentric, slow down, pull up and slow down. Do as many as you can do there. And then you're going to come into that hang position into the bottom. And then from there, you're going to use that buildup of eccentric energy to do half motions from the bottom to the mid position. Okay, so the first you're going to start at the top to the mid, back to the top to the middle. Come all the, after you do as many as you can there, come on down to the hang position and go from the bottom to the middle, bottom to the middle as many as you can do. Okay, and so this is going to help you to build your pull up and actually solidify it and bring it all together. And so in doing this, this is going to help you build the foundation, help you to build. You're trying to construct a repetition because when you can't do a repetition, you have to construct the repetition. And so that basically is developing the foundation. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to work the hardest part of the movement first, which is the eccentric isometric when you're in that top position. And then the eccentric movement slowly going down is going to help you build something called yielding strength. Yielding strength when you are trying to do a concentric movement, as much force as you can absorb eccentrically in the downward phase is going to be produced into your concentric upward phase. And so that's why working eccentrics works awesome to build strength because it's the yielding part of the movement. You can do lat pulls, but really lat pulls aren't going to help you to do pull-ups because you're, it's about proprioception. When your feet are off the floor, your back needs to know how to pull. So when you're sitting down into a bench, your back is pulling, you're strengthening your back but it's t a totally different movement because now your body is off the floor. It's about perception and proprioception because the way your body perceives information with your feet being on the floor and how to move force. 
it's a huge difference from sitting to standing and to having your feet off the floor, just so you understand the difference. Lat pulls can help as a means of getting into strength and pull-ups, but in order to do pull-ups, you really need to do pull-ups. But again, it's about building that rep. You have to learn to build that rep in order to do more reps. And so I hope that you understand the differences in proprioception because that is a huge part of strength training as well as speed and explosive power. And a couple extra tips to help you is that when you're hanging on the bar, lift your knees up into a position so it looks like you're doing an L, looks like you're doing a sit. You can even extend your legs out into what they call an L set. And this will help actually keep your abdominals engaged, put more force into your lats, and prevent you from hyperextending that spine. It's what's important is the, the program, the process, the times and results are gonna be individual for you. It's gonna be different than what I can do, what an advanced person can do, and what you can do. Some people can hold 10 seconds, some people can hold six seconds, some people can only hold for three seconds in certain positions. That's okay. Some people can lower down using eight seconds, some people can lower down using three seconds. That's okay, just do what works for you. And remember, don't try to force the system to work, just do what is natural. All right, guys, I hope these tips work for you and I hope you understand how uh, to build uh, your repetition for your pull-up. Again, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and check out these other videos if you can here.